See, something happened. I turned into my mother. Well, I'm, I'm me, but I'm in my mother's body. So, I guess she's her in mine. You get it? Yeah. So can you think? Can you help me? With what? Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Por favor. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Mucho gusto verte. Muchacho. Ah, quería preguntarte si quieres los pantalones que hagan juego con las blusas. Good, thank you. Yeah. O, o, o si no, tenemos otra tela aquí, por favor. Sí, vamos a verlas. Uh, fritos mañana, siesta. Sí. <laughs> Vámonos a ver las telas, por favor. Aquí en la mesa tenemos una verde y una blanca. La, la quiero, quiero enseñarte aquí, mira. Estas van bien. Esta, esta podemos poner con esta, mira. Qué bonito se ve esta aquí. Sí, sí. Ah, no quieres que hagan juego. Pues por eso no los corté. Quería, quería preguntarte primero. Pero no puede ser. Siempre pide que los dos se Mira, la señora me, no me dijo ser. que esto es lo que sí, quiere. Eso vamos a hacer hoy. No, mira, eso ver. vamos a hacer. Es que no puede ser. La señora no, quiera... no, no. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo está? Ah, muy bien, gracias. Mira, la esposa apenas tuvo un bebito. Y gracias por el caballito, está muy bonito. No. No, es el número dos. El bebito se llama Gabriel. Sí, sí. Sí. Taquitos en guacamole. Gracias. Adiós. Hi, Carrie. Look, this is a bit of an emergency. I need to speak to Annabelle, my... Uh, I mean, my mother... Right now, is she there? Not at the moment, honey. Has she been in at all today? Just for a minute, it's been one crisis here after another. Crisis? What kind of crisis? First there was something with the buttons, then there's a problem with the fabric. I don't know how these people do business. Oh. She can't handle all that. Look, Carrie, I'm going to tell you something and, and you have to believe me. Don't ask me any questions because I won't be able to answer them. Go ahead, what is it? I need to talk to you. Annabelle, you're going to have to catch me later because I got to get off and grab these lines, okay? Well, just uh, tell Ellen that uh, to hang in there and I know what's going on and I'll get back to her as soon as I can. I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything, Annabelle, but I at least think I deserve a straight answer. Are you picking me or Elena? I'm going to do what should have been done right from the start. You're it. I'm choosing you. Really? Honestly? You've worked hard for it, Jackie. You deserve it. Oh, Annabelle, thank you. But aren't you worried about what Rachel's going to say? Listen, I have dealt with people more formidable than Rachel French practically every day of my life. You just go out there and worry about doing your best. Thank you, Annabelle. You're really great. I won't let you down. I know, dear. Annabelle, science is this way. We're dissecting frogs today, remember? Oh, that's inhumane. Not least of all, disgusting. Didn't the Board of Education vote against that? I could have sworn they did. Next up is the esophagus, uh, located here. Uh, it is part of the elementary canal that uh, begins at the inferior end of the laryngopharynx and passes between the trachea I am the frog, the trachea, and the vertebral column until it penetrates the diaphragm. Do you want to take out the esophagus or should I? Wait. Let's consider this a minute. Why should anybody have to do it? Is there a problem, Miss Andrews? Actually, yes. The more I think about it, the more I realize that this is an incredibly antiquated and sadistic, not to mention sickening ritual that doesn't really teach anything that couldn't be learned by plastic models and charts. Right on! <laughs> the only reason it goes on year after year is because everybody thinks it's revolting, but they figure if they have to suffer through it, the next generation should too. is not revolting. It's education. No one ever said education was pretty. Education? Excuse me, but isn't the frog an endangered species? Oh, hold on a minute. 
there, young lady? Who do you think you are? I am the woman who stood on the steps of the Student Union at Penn State in 1969 and marched for equality for our sisters. We fought for the ERA. We demanded world peace. We insisted that all people have equal rights under the Constitution of the United States of America. <laughs> Detention? No, I can't possibly fit detention in today. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you disrupted your entire class. Would you like a martini with it? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you, dry two olives. I've noticed that some of your team's um, uniforms and equipment need updating. Well, of course they do. Just as soon as the good little man with lots of money shows up, we'll get him. I'm not a child, Principal Handel. Please don't treat me like I am one. Oh, excuse me. I Let me put it another way. What are the funds? Now, about this detention of yours, what I want to see you do Let's is... negotiate. Let's what? Negotiate. What I'd like to propose... Oh, oh, like... oh don't you think that you're going to weasel out of your detention, Miss Andrews? I've been doing this for too long. And I've seen too many kids smarter than you. Yes, but none with my experience. Now, let's say that my company designs the uniforms. Your company? My mother's company. Uh-huh. We'll give them to you at a cost, and we can throw a, a bingo night or something <laughs> or to raise the necessary funds. What do you think? I think you've got two hours' detention for that little prank of yours, Miss Andrews. One hour for the cigarette, and two more hours for the little stunt that you just pulled, bribing the principal. You are dismissed. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Principal Handel. I thought the children would be very happy with new uniforms. Out! My own heart. Carrie, listen. There's something really freaky happening here. Who you're seeing isn't me. See, who you're seeing is my mom. Only it's just me, kind of in my mom's skin. Sweetie, it's Friday the 13th. Everybody's gonna jump out of their skin once in a while. It'll pass. Joe's here. 